edged. And finally, the Hobart Hurricanes find a way to avoid the middle of Jilks's bat. They find the edge and they send him packing. Well, this guy's quality. He's shown it for a while now. And, uh, that's a massive wicket. Nathan Ellis. He's got so many different variations, but this looked like it was just a good ball angling across the left-hander. Jilks trying to force off the back foot. Matthew Wade does the rest. Really important wicket that for Hobart. Jilks, the man in form. He goes for a very well-made 33. And the Sydney Thunder lose their first with 36 on the board. There's that wide line, and it's scooped up in the air. That has gone to Paddy Dooley. And again, it's that man there, Nathan Ellis, finding a way and getting the breakthrough. Well, he's hit the right hole here, as they say these days. And it's uh, the Yorker link, wide of off stump. They're looking to think it might just have been, perhaps, a bump ball. I'm not sure, actually. I think it was just a catch. I thought it was just a catch, too. It couldn't have gone that quick if it was a bump ball to backward point. He doesn't want to leave. He's well, enjoying it too much. If you're 65 from 31, you'd want to stay out there, wouldn't you? <laughs> so we're going to send it upstairs. Mike Graham Smith, the TV umpire this afternoon. Was a good piece of bowling from Nathan Ellis. Executing the wide Yorker. Davies has been so strong down the ground. It's out. It's out. Don't worry about that. He knows it too. I think he's on his way off, Ollie Davies. He just had to be sure. Sometimes at pace you can be a little bit uncertain or you can try your luck. <laughs> <laughs> but a little bit of both. Yeah. A little bit of A, a little bit of B. <laughs> no problem at all. Yeah, I think the umpire's got it right. They just have to re reassure themselves these days. But let's not ignore the fact that that is one heck of an innings. Yeah, totally agree. Outstanding innings from Ollie Davies. He's got the Thunder into a really strong position here. Warmly applauded, applauded by this crowd. 65 from just 32 balls faced. Strike rate of 203. The Thunder, 3 for 179. Oh, picks that up nicely, but might have found the fielder and has. Shadab Khan settles himself underneath it. His hands are still ringing from a drop catch a couple of overs ago. And that is the end of Sam's. It was, uh, a, not, again, not a bad piece of bowling. It was relatively full and straight. And uh, Sam's is uh, interesting. He opens up uh, by, with his stance by showing all his stumps, and then he hops across to the offside to give him access to the onside. On that occasion, he just didn't quite find the timing. The shot was on, he'd be disappointed. Hard to find timing that early. Well, I did say this ground isn't big enough for Daniel Sams if he hits the middle of the bat. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't find the middle of the bat. He's gone for one from just two balls faced. And then it follows it up with the wicket. It's almost like apologetically Nathan Ellis says, yes, I got it wrong the ball before, but I got it right now. Perfect. The perfect delivery. And T20 cricket and most cricket really. What about the execution again? A comeback ball, perfect walk. I think it came off his back toe onto leg stump. Nothing he can do about that whatsoever. Great execution, but it's been a nice little cameo. Just the five balls face, but contributed 14 runs to the total. Thunder five for 214.